Lots of U.S. troops are spending this Thanksgiving holiday far away from their loved ones, and some of them helping Iraqi soldiers in the battle to take back the ISIS stronghold of Mosul. A senior Iraqi commander says his fighters have now forced the terrorists out of three more neighborhoods in Mosul. That's allowing people from those areas to make their way to displacement camps. Meantime, ISIS is claiming responsibility for suicide bombing in a city south of Baghdad. Emergency workers say at least 56 people died in today's blast there. Benjamin Hall with the news live in London. Tell us more about this bombing today. Well, a devastating bombing, and that figure seems to be rising now. We're hearing figures of over 100 killed in this one incident. Uh, it was targeted at Shia pilgrims about 60 miles south of Baghdad, and they mainly came from Iran and Bahrain. All in all, it seems like an attempt by the terror group to deflect attention away from what is happening in Mosul itself, because, of course, in Mosul, that battle still rages on, and the death toll continues to rise, with dozens of civilians being killed every day, including women and children who are caught up in the middle. Snipers and and those car bombs continue to be the most deadly weapons employed by ISIS. Now the battle is intensifying with a hundred more Iraqi special forces arriving to replace some of the men who are leaving after 20 straight days of hard, bitter fighting. The battle has been constant since it began six weeks ago, but progress is still very slow. And remember that the soldiers are still six miles away from the city center itself, so it's going to be a long way from here. Ed? Benjamin, I mentioned at the top that thousands of U.S. soldiers are in harm's way. They're involved in the operation against ISIS. Uh, what are they doing specifically, and what are their loved ones need to know about what's, what, how it's all playing out? Well, first and foremost, they continue to do their job. They do not get holidays the way the rest of us would. But they are trying their best to celebrate Thanksgiving as it comes along. And, of course, um, in some of the bases, as, as we've seen on the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, which is based in the Persian Gulf, where jets continue to take off, they're trying their best. This is the second Thanksgiving that they have been away from home. But the celebrations won't stop, and the jets will continue to patrol the skies over Iraq and Syria as they bomb ISIS terrorists day and night. Their influence on the battle cannot be underestimated. Meanwhile, at a U.S. base south of Mosul in Gayara, U.S. troops also took time to celebrate Thanksgiving, remember their families, and remember what Thanksgiving is all about, even though they're near the front lines of this battle against ISIS. I want to tell my family, you know, to be thankful that all these people are out here and just to be thankful for being alive. That's all. Now, there are 5,000 troops based in Iraq around there. There are 5,200 on the Eisenhower, but there are 130,000 U.S. servicemen and women based outside the U.S. That's an incredible number, and, of course, our thoughts go out to all of them on this Thanksgiving. Back That's to you. That's right. Thank you, Benjamin Hall. We certainly are thinking of them.